Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Steve and Joe, Utah Steve and Mr. T-Max, in the great outdoors. This is becoming an annual thing. I think I've mentioned it before in other Antelope Island videos, but we seem to have our first meeting of the year here pretty regularly. I think we skipped a year once. Yeah. So, but we are on Antelope Island. We're at Bridger Bay Campground, site number 10, and we have a pretty sweet spot here. Joe's setting up footage because he's the king of food. He sold his Jeep. He now has a truck. Do you sell your Jeep? I still have Jeep? You still have it. But it's, it's just barely hanging on. Oh. <laughs> so it's near death, so, yeah. you know. Sometimes you got to know when to move on. It's hard to let go. Here's our view. We don't have neighbors. This is pretty cool. Last year we were down there on the corner somewhere right down in there and there's a huge buffalo down there right now. There's a herd of buffalo over that way here in the campground. So we have a pretty good chance of Tatanka encounters. And Joe is over here getting the uh, traditional, what do you call this? Just queso, I guess. Just queso. Mixes Cheese and chili. Cheese and chili. You saw last year's video. Spicy. We did the same thing and it was awesome. It's and right. as usual, Mr. Shanks here has brought a little bit of food with him. <laughs> this is a cooler. And there are two bins. One is seasonings and supplies. Is mostly food yeah. in there. And then the other one is food. Well, lots of food. Yeah. Yeah, we won't go hungry. Sure. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. This is part of the enrichment of the whole thing. Yeah. You know, just good food and Hanging friends' out. food and yep. adventures. This is not a backcountry adventure. This is just an annual thing where two friends get together that only see each other a couple times a year. Hang out, have a good time, eat some food, be out in nature. And the weather is supposed to be beautiful, 50 degrees, a little breezy and cold, but not too bad. And we are sleeping in our cars. You might notice there are no tents. No tents. No pre-tents either. No, no pre-tents. <laughs> None of that. So Joe isn't set up yet, but he's going to have a cot back here. He's going to sleep in the back of his truck. And let me show you my setup real quick. Ugh. Here we go. Now, I'm <laughs> that mattress is a bit thick. I'm going to be stuffing my face in the ceiling if I'm not careful. But what, what happened is I had a thinner air mattress, and I set it up in the car before I left home. And when I went back out to the car a little while later, it was totally flat. So that mattress is gone. I ran to the store and got this one. I'm going to have to swallow my pride and admit that I bought the wrong mattress, but this will do for my house. Need an AC outlet to fill this up. So I filled it up in my house, dragged it out to my car with the neighbors looking on and watched me load my car with an air mattress. Anyway, so... I filled it pretty full because as the cold air moves in, this is going to shrink and I won't be quite kissing the ceiling. Got a Coleman car camping sleeping bag, my quilt, a pillow, a real pillow. That's about it. That's my setup for the night. I'll be sleeping in here. This came together really quickly. Um, I had plans to be here and Joe didn't. And then Joe realized he could make it down here too, so he surprised me. And he texted me and said, Hey, I'm going to drive down there and hang out with you. So Joe and Utah Steve are going to have a good time on Antelope Island at Bridger Bay Campground. We're going to have a fire. We're going to have food. We're going to laugh. We're going to talk. We're going to get reacquainted. Haven't seen him since... I think July last year. Let's get into it. Let's have some fun. There's 
there's a little trail here leading away from camp up to this little ridge. Looks like it's a game trail. You can see the buffalo hoof marks. Kind of just want to take in the view from up here. I'm eating beef jerky, courtesy of Joe. I should probably wait to film until I properly chewed it. Oh yeah. Flattens out nicely up here. And here's our view. There's camp. You can see a, across from our camp we have a neighbor now. A guy with a rooftop tent. And over this way we have the buffalo hanging out over there. Bathrooms. Great Salt Lake. We have about an hour left of sunlight. So Joe's down there heating up some water. I brought a little bit of hot chocolate. He forgot to bring some. I have a big tub of it at home. So we both kind of forgot. I just happened to have a couple of them with me and it's pretty chilly. Mostly my hands are cold. The temperature in the car says 50, but there's a wind chill. There's a definite breeze coming down this hill right into our camp. So it's kind of uncomfortable right now. We both have our jackets on. I'm about to pull out my beanie to be honest. I wish I had some knit gloves or something to warm my hands up. All I had were snow gloves at home. And even those would be welcome now. So it's, it's a little chilly, but it's not too crowded. Last time we were here, it was extremely crowded. Every, every spot was taken. And so now is the time to be out here. The spring and the fall and even the winter middle of summer they have biting gnats and it's impossible to be out here plus you can see there's no shade anywhere it's very hot a lot of sun exposure so you have to pick the right time of year to come to Antelope Island So Joe found some hot chocolate, besides yeah. what I have. Yeah. It's the uh, Land of Lakes stuff that I like. So this is what Joe found, and this is what I just happened to have in my kit. Yeah, that, that wind is pretty brutal. It is. It's just about right until it starts kicking up. Yeah. You know? but... Like right now it's calm, but then it's pretty nice. it comes through and it's... <laughs> yeah. Sucks it right away. It is beautiful out here though. Just wish it was a little bit warmer. It's kind of a stark beauty. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, Joe brought some firewood. That's it right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a chopping block, obviously. He brought some firewood, and I have two or three pieces in my car from another trip that have been kicking around in my car for a while. But we will definitely be warming things up. I really should not chew beef jerky while I'm trying to narrate a video. <laughs> That's so amateurish. I know. This stuff's such hot. a rookie move. <laughs> yes, I do. Look. Careful, it's right hot. And since yesterday was my birthday, Joe brought me a present. A blue camp chair with a raised back. It's a really nice one. It just so happens that he likes blue. It's crazy. I know. Go figure. What a coincidence. How did yeah. you know? No, but as soon as I saw it, I was, first off, they had one set up, and I tried it out. I said, no, that's actually pretty comfortable. And then I immediately thought of you. I was like, dude, that's a, that's a Steve present. Right there. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm going to break it out here in a minute, set it up. Oh, is that what she said? Yes. That's what I said to her. <laughs>
here it is in all its glory. The blue luxury chair with the high back and an adjustable pillow. This comes off. Move it wherever you need it. Courtesy of Joe. That is awesome. Comfy too. And Joe's about to start dinner. His specialty. Can anyone guess what that might be? <laughs> I should have brought one of my hats. The Taco Joe special. It, yeah, you should have. You should see this hat. The big. You need to send me a picture for hat. the sure. video. Yeah. If Joe has this taco hat he wears he it. when he makes tacos. <laughs> you still make these like, what, several times a week, don't you? Yeah, two, three times. Yeah. I'm a problem. <laughs> I think you forgot the tomatoes last time. I forgot several tomatoes. Some And an onto So I think we have some jalapenos in there. I'm digging it. You know, I can't even eat tacos now without sriracha ketchup. Oh, it doesn't... That sounds bizarre, but you guys should try it. It's awesome. It's really good. And sour cream, of course. The two together. He just puts them over the top. They're the perfect marriage mm -hmm. of flavors and spice. They create a surprise. Oh, <laughs> holy crap. You all right? I was going to quote... <laughs> The cool a sublime palette of odorific emanations, or however. You... Listen up, brother. <laughs> sublime palette of odorific emanations. There you go. Oh, well, I don't know. That That's almost half... dead on. That's pretty good. Oh, right. It was sounding like half uh, Bill and Tad or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you're used to doing Duke Kaboom. It's Kenny, kinda... that's great as stuff, man. Yeah. Yep. Speaking of which, it's the man himself. Canada's greatest stuntman. Do Cabell. So I got Joe this little fellows. You've seen me use mine probably in other videos. And this plasma lighter that's rechargeable. Pretty cool. I've never used one of these, but my son Dylan suggested I get it for Joe, so that's what we got. Very well received gift, that's for sure. We always do our little gift exchange on these outings. I just didn't film it this time. It was more casual, like, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine too. Yeah. So Joe has dinner and I have breakfast. That's our usual, pretty much. Yeah, Steve, how it goes now. Steve doesn't get to eat till tomorrow. Yeah, I, I'll watch Joe eat, and then tomorrow morning I'll eat breakfast and he'll sit and watch me That's eat. That's right. And Joe killed this cow itself. That's right. Gosh darn it. He raised it from a baby. What was its name? Bison. Bison. That was the name of the cow. No. <laughs> I just—I was focused on this, trying to think of something in a hurry. <laughs> no, put you meathead. Spot. Meathead. It was meathead. Yeah. Yeah. He was adorable. We—we we often took him on out. We didn't film it, but we'd take him on backpacking trips. But one in the back country. Yeah, but that winter we got pretty hungry. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. this is what's left. Like we. It's pretty sad. There was a. There was. We were on Donner Pass, and there was a snowstorm. And we were stranded. Our wagons were, you know, stuck in the snow and we couldn't get out. So it's either eat each other or eat That's terrible. meathead. Eat meathead. And so we saved some of meathead. For, we were like, someday we'll be in a much better place, having a lot of fun camping, and we'll eat what's left of meathead. Poor so meathead. <laughs> this is that day. That's yeah. That's terrible scene. <laughs> All right. Mmm.
And we have some company making their way right through our camp, hopefully. Literally right at the end of our driveway. If you could see these, they're like twice the size of a cow. That is way bigger than a cow. I can't believe people try to go up and tease them or pet them. That thing could kill you in an instant. Amazing. Beautiful. Every adventure's different. These people in... shouldn't even be trying to drive past it, really. Uh -huh. I just put in way too much cayenne pepper, so oh. we're going to have some fun with that. Spicy. Ooh, yeah. It's going to be all right if we don't get gored. <laughs> There's people that just stop 10 feet from it. Like, oh. Where is he at? Still right there. Yeah. I don't want him, these people driving by him. It's like right on the roadway and they could really piss it off. And I don't think he cares where his anger goes. Yeah. These people should just back up. I mean, if I were hiking on the trail, I would, I would make room. I wouldn't crowd it. There they go. They're backing up. One chased me out of camp there for a minute. Did it? Yeah, he, came, he was right here. I just didn't like the way that other one was snorting. That's the one that came over. Is it? He walked behind your rig and then he came right up, looked at me, and then I just kind of <laughs> walked away, not looking at him. You know? <laughs> yeah, no eye contact. No challenges. Dang. Where's the thousand pound bison walk? Wherever it wants. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's grab, look at this amazing feast. What kind of shells are those again? Jalapeno cheese. So here are mine. Kind of looks like I put toothpaste on it, but much better. And we are currently being crowded again by an entire herd of buffalo. They're uh, really working their way in here, aren't they? An entire fleet of bison. I, I think our neighbors just got in their car out of safety. Oh. Because they were coming down the hill towards their car. Look at that guy roll around. Oh. Look at that. He's got an itchy back. They're snorting in all kinds of stuff. They're making angry I hate people noises. It's getting cold. Some of my fingers are pretty. This is an amazing spectacle, huh? Well, I don't even think we saw any last year. Nothing close.
These are delicious, by the way. Oh. No How offense meant out? by filming the buffalo, not your tacos. Oh. <laughs> It's not, it's not focusing. Chased us out. Went back there you go. His buddies. Want some? <laughs> They're not. I was at 50 feet to the nearest one, maybe. Mm -hmm. it well, it's not every day that you can uh, eat tacos while buffalo invade your camp. Except these three are kind of just doing their own thing. So I got the fire going, Joe split the wood. It's a pretty good sized fire so far. It's wonderful to feel that heat. And Joe's over here setting up his sleeping quarters for the night. He got his cot with a, an air mattress. This little table I gave him for Christmas, I think. It's a little collapsible table, just like a uh, like a camp chair. Coming together. Yep. I need to, uh, I have a roll of reflectors. Oh. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make either, you can even know what these windows are made out of. Uh huh. Put mag, cut out pieces and put magnets on them that will just go right up real quick. Or use some Velcro on them. That's and then I can good. just cover up all the windows. Just takes a couple, it takes a couple minutes. People do that with their van life. Vans yeah, overtime? I have seen people do that. That's a good idea. It's pretty cool. Dude, this is sweet. It's all in one, self-contained. Right. You do have to move you, stuff out, but you got a nightstand. You got comfy bed, yeah. shelter from the buffalo. <laughs> pretty sweet. Yeah, works pretty good. It's freaky though when you're sleeping by yourself. Yeah. And you just turn over and you can see right out the window. Oh, yeah. Because, like, is someone going to be staring back at you in the middle <laughs> of the night? Don't give me ideas. I know, right? <laughs> I set mine up. As you saw earlier, I set it up my bedding at home before I came here. We're just going to hang out, have some conversation, keep warm, and then call it a night. It's been quite the adventure. <laughs> Dusk. I always love these glorious nighttime poor lighting shots. I'm in the car, obviously. I'm warm, I'm comfy. Um, over inflating the air mattress was a good idea because it's just right. It still has plenty of air in it, but I knew the air would shrink somewhat during the night. So, lesson learned, I need to get an air mattress for my car that can be inflated in the car. <laughs> not just at home. But Joe and I just hung out by the fire forever. We uh, had a, some good long talks and we always do and it's always good to reassess and get together with him. Touch bases, see how life's going. We only can get together maybe once or twice a year, three if we're lucky. Um, 
but it's always great when this happens. Ow, cramp, foot cramp. We invented a drink. We <laughs> We were pretty cold, the fire was great, it was raging, but there's been the constant cool breeze through here that my little thermometer reads about 33 degrees. So Joe had the idea to heat up some hot water. Um, neither of us wanted hot chocolate or anything with caffeine in it, so, I mean, obviously it's, it's probably, what, 10.30 right now, so, um, I realized as he was heating the water that I had little drink packets, um, pink lemonade, sugar-free drink packets, the kind you put in a bottle of water and shake up, and they're not caffeinated. So um, we went ahead and tried it, and we basically had a nice, warm, almost hot cup of pink lemonade around the campfire. <laughs> Highly unusual, but it wasn't a lot different than drinking like that hot cold medicine, Theraflu or whatever it's called. So um, that was really good, actually. And it warmed us from the inside out and it helped a lot. And then Joe eventually said he was going to call it and I was about at that point too. So he's in his truck, I'm in my car, and that's it for today. I don't know, I don't have much else to say other than Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting and just staying with me. I appreciate it. And we will see you in the morning, bright and early. Good night. Well, welcome to morning. My car is frosty on the inside and the outside. It got down to about freezing last night. So the inside part of the freezing is because I slept in the car and all, all that heavy breathing I did. <laughs> you can see the windshield there is just nice and frosty. Joe did all right, too, it seems like. We were both warm enough. That sleeping bag I have is really toasty, comfortable. Joe's up and moving. He got up just about 15 minutes before me. This is morning. Oh, there's a there's buffalo up there. I can see their big bodies just barely up there. You can see some of the stuff I left out. Nice and icy. My chair. Joe gave me. Actually, Joe gave me the chair and the sleep pad. Both here, but on two different trips. The remnants of our campfire. We used all that wood. It was just cold enough that we just kept the fire going as long as we could before we finally called it a night. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Not very good. I couldn't get my CPAP machine working. I left it over the winter in the truck and I think uh, maybe that cold snap yeah. I did it in. Uh, that so I woke up a lot. That's that's not the first time on a camping trip. Yeah. I haven't slept well. It's kind of par for the course in a way. I remember at Shingle Creek you backpacked that thing in. Yeah. That I've done that crazy. a couple times. Yeah. It's another four or five pounds but yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Right. Here's the aftermath of last night. The luxury of car camping is you don't have to hang everything in a tree, at least in the, you know, a place on a like this. desert island, you don't. <laughs> Buffalo aren't going to try to climb a tree and get it. That would be impressive. They don't seem to like cilantro either, so. Yeah. <laughs> They're not Mexican buffaloes. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with Mexican buffaloes. <laughs> Well, I can tell you it feels much colder than 39 right now, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It's colder than 39. Maybe it's not. There is a breeze. Oh, now it says 40. It's because I'm holding it. But it, this did say 34 or something like that.
and it's my turn to make the food, so I'm gonna make breakfast. What we're gonna do is just divide this up and make it a quick breakfast. We're gonna have hamburger and corn. I'm just kidding. I have it down here in my cooler. Technically we could. Okay, so somewhere under the ice here, just throw that over there. Got some cheese, oh, look, some eggs, a couple pounds of sausage. I also have some English muffins. We're gonna have breakfast sandwiches. I use this little lid to form the patties. Man, this is ice cold on my hands. And we have a little patty. See? That's pretty cool. Yeah. So there's a couple of good sized patties. And a nice clean pan. Yeah. <laughs> Steve hired his new cameraman really cheap. I did. He works for free. Actually, he works for food. I worked for food this morning. He's holding a sign. Happily. He had a sign outside Walmart. We'll work for food. We'll work, yeah, like, yeah. Look, I need a camera guy. <laughs> so. well, as long as there's food involved, then yep. I will be there. Okay, so far we got the sausage cooked with the cheese melting and we're heating the buns. Now I just have to cook the eggs and we're good to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. Mm. Steve at his craft. If I can get it on the spatula. Get on there. <laughs> what did you get on the spatula? <laughs> It's gonna be a messy sandwich. Messy affair. It's alright. Beauty. Look at that. Perfect. Work of art. It's at least as good as McDonald's. Really? I say that <laughs> as a compliment. Oh. <laughs> because McDon I find McDonald's sausage egg McMuffins to be amazing. Mmm. Good. Oh. That was a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Want some? It is really good, actually. So Joe and I realized something while we were sitting here eating. What day is it, Joe? Daylight savings. Daylight savings. So we actually lost an hour of sleep, and it's usually... 10.30 right now? No, we, f we went forward. Yeah. So it's usually only 8.30 right now, and it's now 9.30. And checkout time at this campground is 11. So we're going to, you know, relax a little bit more, and then we're going to have to clean up and head out. We totally forgot that it was daylight savings today. And if you don't live in an area where you know what daylight savings is, maybe you're in another part of the world, let's just say it's stupid. It's pointless, it's dumb, and it's unnecessary, but it still happens. And last night, you know, Joe gave me the, uh, the chair for my birthday, but we also did our regular gift exchange, which I didn't expect him to give me anything else. And my favorite color is blue, of course. He got me this little cup and this spork and these dry bags for future trips. Pretty cool. Anyway, this is the disaster that is camp, and it's it's been well used and well appreciated. Good food, good company, good time. For sure. Live, laugh, love. Beautiful morning. The metal larks are going nuts. Our neighbor over there has left. And this is the cleanup we've got to do. And it is currently 50 degrees. Things are a lot more comfortable right now. When we first woke up, everything was frosty. And as you can see, my car has thawed out. So I'm gonna help Joe clean up, stop filming, and participate in the aftermath of Camp Steve and Joe. Well, it's been a great camp out. Thanks for joining us, Joe and I. 
we are going to wrap it up. We're going to listen to some music while we clean up, and then I will come back and we'll give our final farewell. Hope you've enjoyed this outing. It's been fun. It's been rejuvenating for me. A good, uh, good way to spend my birthday weekend. Just so you know, I was warm all night. This sleeping bag was amazing. I didn't really need the quilt, but it was there kind of as an insulating layer. On that note, time to clean up. guys that is it we are all cleaned up nothing left but Duke Kaboom look at that yes did you have fun yeah good was it worth the trip yeah cool at least at least once a year yeah yeah Steve was totally plastered last night though yeah on on uh, hot lemonade hot lemonade yeah which was pretty good yeah it did turn out pretty good. generic crystal light Hot lemonade. Maybe we started a tradition. Yep. A weird tradition. <laughs> we kind of discovered that one together. Oh, that's true. You came up with the hot water. Right. I came up with the drink packet. We were just gonna drink the hot water just to <laughs> we were give us something before going to bed. <laughs> which worked out. But. Yeah. That was funny. That was uh that, we were like but anything to warm up, you know. Yeah. The fire was okay, but the wind kept blowing the heat away. Mm -hmm. We you know, we felt it. We resorted to hot water. And then I was like, hey, I have lemonade. Anyway. Because we're a couple of middle-aged men that <laughs> can't stay warm anymore. Well, you're middle-aged. I'm more like, I'm younger than him. At least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> absolutely not true. Anyway, do yourselves a favor, guys. Get off the couch. Get outside of nature. Have an adventure. The views are... They are what? Spectacular. Yes, they are. And if you can't get off the couch, for whatever reason, come along with us. We could use the company. And we're exciting, so yes. probably should. Yes, this was non-stop exciting. <laughs> Especially those buffalo. Those buffaloes. So, see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.